Spencer Farron of Sky Sports says Deontay Wilder is a caveman. Stay tuned. Coming up next. Blue Blood Sports TV. You're watching Blue Blood Sports TV. Shout out to Blue Blood Sports TV. Hola, I'm Blue Blood Sports TV. What I've noticed about Deontay Wilder is this. Anybody says anything derogatory about Deontay Wilder, Deontay Wilder just gets on the defensive and he starts, he's on him, you know what I mean? So, that's your business. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm just being real. Deontay Wilder is a very, very good fighter, right? But Drill is some man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Captain Caveman style. Remember Captain Caveman? When you yeah. get, rah, 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 that's him, that's Deontay Wilder. But, you know. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, Spencer Fearing of Sky Sports says Deontay Wilder fights like a caveman. He says, yeah, he's Caveman Wilder. And I wanted to just debunk this notion that Deontay Wilder fights like a caveman. Okay? For one, Deontay Wilder only gets wild when people say windmill Wilder and so on and so forth. This is when he has a fight of hurt. And you can see him get a little sloppy at times. But for the most part, he uses a calculated approach with a straight jab. A thundering straight jab at that. Followed by a straight right. Occasionally, he'll he'll get uh, a little out of the ordinary or a little sloppy with his punches when he gets a guy hurt. But that's normal. That's normal for that to happen. Most fighters, when they get a guy hurt, they get all wild and they get uncalculated and they throw punches and bunches. And that's why you get the that's why you get people saying things like he done punched himself out. He didn't take his time. That's where that comes from because most fighters get anxious they get excited and they just start throwing punches and bunches and trying to get the man out of there so this is d just for the mere fact that the reason that people say this is because nine times out of ten well should i say ten times out of ten deontay wilder knocks his opponent out so yes you will see that every fight because not most times out of none deontay wilder has his opponent hurt Every fighter, Anthony Joshua, when he fought Joseph Parker, didn't have Joseph Parker hurt at all in that fight to get wild. Okay? But if you look at the end of the Anthony Joshua versus Alexander Povetkin, Anthony Joshua threw wild punches in that, in that fight. He threw wild punches that did not land, that were behind the head, that were missing wildly. Because why? Because he had Alexander Povetkin hurt and he was trying to get him out of there. Okay? Vladimir Klitschko, Anthony Joshua. When he had Vladimir Klitschko hurt, look at it when the ref jumps in. None, most of those punches didn't even land before the ref jumped in and stopped the fight. Anthony Joshua versus Vladimir Klitschko. Look at it before the ref stops, jumps in, and there's a lot of punches missed that uh, of uh, Anthony Joshua threw because he got wild. So most fighters, when they get a hurt, a fighter hurt, and that in that instant. They throw wild punches because they're trying to get the fighter out of there. And seeing as though Deontay Wilder knocked out every opponent that he's faced, of course there, there's going to be times where he gets wild. Why? Because he hurts every opponent that he's faced. So when you get an opponent hurt, then nine times out of ten, you're going to throw wild punches. That's what happens. So is, is it Deontay Wilder's fault that every opponent that he faces uh, gets hurt at some point in time during the fight? Even uh, the, the one fighter that he didn't knock out, that he did knock out, which is which sounds like an oxymoron, but you'll know what I'm talking about, is Bermain Stavern. The first fight, he didn't knock Bermain Stavern out, but he knocked Bermain Stavern down, and he had Bermain Stavern hurt in that fight. So he got wild in that fight as well, right? He didn't knock Bermain Stavern out, but he, got, he had Bermain Stavern hurt at one point in time in that fight, so he did get wild in that fight. So if you look at that fight, as long, and you look at the fight, look at the first knockdown, the second fight with Bermain Stavern, look at the first knockdown. It's a straight jab, straight left jab, followed by a straight right that knocks Bermain Stavern down. That's the first one. That's the first knockdown. Then you look at the second one. Then he got wild in the third knockdown. So when people say that Deontay Wilder is a caveman, of all things to say, that's how you reference him? A caveman? I don't think so. Have you ever seen a caveman fight? So when people say a caveman, have have any any of you guys ever seen a caveman fight? So to reference him to a caveman, 
you know, a, a, when, when people say he gets wild is one thing, but to reference him to a caveman is a whole nother thing. That's disrespectful. It's, it's beyond borderline disrespectful. It's disrespectful. Right? That's just what it is. It's disrespectful. And and the, to say that he's a caveman, I mean, you could reference him to a lot of things, but a caveman is disrespectful. It's, 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 and it's borderline racist. You know, to say that he's a caveman. I mean... This is this is getting real ridiculous now. This is getting real ridiculous now at this point in time, people. You know, uh, he didn't call Anthony Joshua a caveman when he got wild trying to stop um, uh, Vladimir Klitschko, did he? He didn't call Anthony Joshua a caveman after um, Joshua got wild trying to stop Alexander Povetkin, did he? You know, it, it, we we understand what it is, man. And in the same interview, he referenced the fact that the UK is running a heavyweight division. You know, so we know what it is, man. But uh, that's all I got. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Spencer, Spencer Fearing of Sky Sports referenced Deontay Wilder as a caveman. But that's all I got. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, Blue Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shouts out to the entire LDBC. Shouts out to New Media. Shouts out to Black Media Row. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy, Blue. That's all I got. Make sure y'all like and share these videos. Peace.